Hello Foundry Church, this is Josh Lammer. I hope you are all doing well and safe and that your families are all healthy. Um, if you're like us, being in quarantine is not the funnest thing to be doing right now. Um, but this is what God's given us, so I have your week one introduction uh, devotions for you. So this is what it says. The book of Genesis starts with Adam and, is, and follows his line to Noah and then to a man named Abram. We don't read anything extra special about Abram when he came onto the scene, just that he was the firstborn of Terah. Yet for God's plan, for God's already established special purposes, he chose Abram. In Genesis 12, we read, The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham went, as the Lord had told him. The Lord chose Abram, and Abram obeyed and took the first step. Throughout his life, God explained more about his promise to Abram. When Abram arrived at the edge of the Canaanites' land, God promised it to his offspring, of which he currently had none. When Abram and his traveling partner and nephew Lot realized they were both too wealthy to live near the same place, they separated ways. Again, the Lord promised Abram, Look around you from where you are, to the north and south, to the east and west. All the land that you see I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. As time went on, Abram asked God about his promise. The way things were looking, one under his employ was set to inherit all Abram had. But God again reassured Abram that he would indeed have a son. The problem was that Abram needed to wait on God's timeline. And let's be honest, that's not easy. Soon Abram and Sarai, his wife, tried to take matters into their own hands, as we will read later. Again, God promised Abram that he would have a son and that his son would lead to a great nation. Too many descendants to count. But after each time God reiterated the promise, Abram was left to wait. He was left to trust in God when all other circum circumstances said that God had forgotten his promise. Or maybe, Abram never heard God at all. Have you ever been there? Have you ever tried to hold on to one of God's promises in the Bible or something the Holy Spirit had spoken to your heart and found that after a while you began to doubt you begin to doubt whether or not you heard from God or whether or not he had really chosen you. Join Abraham and Sarah. God changed their names from Abram and Sarai partway through the story. And listen to God to speak to you as you read about these two, how these two waited on the Lord. That's your week one devotions, Foundry family. I hope and pray that all of you are safe, all of you are healthy. And really, I hope to get out of the house and see you all soon. Take care.